So here we have our wood plank in physics lab. What we want to first do is we want to chop this into three or four pieces lengthwise. Uh, to do that, we're going to go to settings by depth, and we're actually going to go to this advanced tab. So it's let us specifically set in the X that we want to cut three and zero and zero in the Y. Uh, as you can actually see, that does give us our nice three cuts. From here, we're going to go ahead and go down at depth. And the reason we're going to do this is that we want our cuts to be very specific and will have a lot of control over our noise. So what I've done is I've added four slices to the Y. And as you can see, when I go down to the second depth, it's uh, almost the amount we want. It's not quite as much chunks as I want, so I'm going to have to put one in the X as well. Um, now that we have this asset splintered in the amount we want, we need to get the look and the feel. Uh, how we're going to do this is with noise amplitude and noise frequency. Uh, these are both relative calculations, so I'm going to put in a value of 8, which would be about 8% of this thing is going to turn into noise. And I'm going to really crank up the noise frequency a lot. Uh, this is going to cause it to look woody. So let's go ahead and fracture it. As you can see, it looks like wood, um, but we can even go even farther and increase our noise field grid size. And what this does is it actually adds more and more polygons to that cut. Uh, so let's go ahead and look what that looks like after we fracture. As you can see, this is very splintery at this point. Uh, it, it looks pretty good in general. So let's go ahead and look at our next depth. Now that we're at depth two, we can see that uh, those first breaks are good, but this is way too geometric in the second side. So the couple things we probably want to do uh, is on the X one, we want to once again add some noise frequency. So let's go ahead and do a seam variation. This will actually make the cut not go straight on the X or straight on the Y. It'll vary it slightly and add a little bit of noise. It's getting a little bit better, still not quite what we want. I think we also want to do this in the Y direction. So we're going to go ahead and vary the seams. I'm going to do a offset of 5 and a degree variation of anywhere between 5 to 9. And let's add in a little bit more noise as well. So where we're at now, we have one last problem that's really eye jarring. And that is this initial cut in the uh, X direction is just far too geometric. It's far too noticeably straight. So what we actually have here is an option to change the cut order. So what we want to do is we actually want to cut the Y first and then cut the X. And this will actually make the X cut more jagged because it has the seams varied. So as you can see here, now we finally have a piece that is very random, very noisy, very wood-like. So this is a quick tutorial on try to get you how to make a wood plank noisy.